Hey guys, I'm MJ at Outpost Pottery and today we are talking about the tile holder. Now what is the tile holder? This is a tool that I made with a 3D printer that helps me make sure that my, my bat is always in the center. You've probably seen other systems like this on uh, pottery vendors, places that you can buy pottery online, but I use these little cheap six inch tiles that you can get from Home Depot or Lowe's or a hardware store, and it fits just right in there like that. And sometimes I'll throw like a little clay patty right here, just a little bit of clay, uh, so that I can make sure that it's not gonna wobble around at all. But this ensures that every time I center the clay, it's right in the middle of the cheap 44 cent uh, tile, which I use as bats. So you can see right here, a new grade, can you catch this? I have a ton of these things. I use them like crazy. I use the little ones, I use the big ones. Uh, you don't need a tile holder to do this kind of a system. You can check out my other video on uh, bats and it shows you how you can throw on a clay patty or on a clay pancake with a tile. But I like this one because it's always going to get in the center. Like a few things that I can use this for is, like here is my, these are my lovebirds mugs. Uh, you can see the little lovebird stamp in there and they're on a wire, like they're on a telephone wire or something. But sometimes if, if it's not in the center of the bat, then you can't get that after it's kind of leather hard. So I'll put it back on there. I'll, I'll know that it's in the middle and I can get that line real straight, real easy. Another use case is when you want brushwork on the side of a vessel after it's dried for a little bit. Like you might not want to do it when it's still wet because you could affect the form. But, you know, you can come back with a brush and just kind of add some cool, cool stuff. So let me show you how this works. Okay, so one advantage that I like about this system as opposed to the previous system, which, just, just, which was just a clay patty, is you don't need very much clay at all on the bottom here. So I'm just going to make this... Uh, substantially more. Okay, so I just want a little bit of clay in the middle there. And then I'll put this on right like this. And then I'll take one of these clay tiles, my bats, and I'll just pop it in there. Okay. I've got these balls of clay already wedged up. These are a pound and a half. I think they're still pretty wet. Yeah, they're good. So it's right, you know, I know that it's in the center of this bat, which is helpful. And that the bat is at the center of the uh, wheel head. Now I didn't pick the best color for this. I have this bright orange, which is kind of not the best for looking at, but it is what it is. We'll have a, we'll get other core, uh, colors too. I think I have some blue and also some white ones in there for this tile holder. Okay, so that's roughly the shape that I want. I need to go a little bit higher. <laughs> it's my first one of the day. Usually, you know, you've thrown about 10 of the day, you, you start to nail it. But when you're throwing, when you're at the first part of the day, sometimes you gotta kinda work to get your feeling back. Okay, so that's roughly the shape I'm looking for. Let's see how I'm doing. Pretty close. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, 
let me show you one of these ribs. So this is a rib that I use for Waco tours here. It's got outpost pottery on there. So what I do with these profile ribs is when I'm at this stage, I'll just jam it up next to here. And just kind of smoothing out the sides like that. And to make sure that the, let me get the water out of here. Get that lip the way I want it. There we go. And then I had a, another, oh, this is the first rib that I ever had. This, my son Jake made this when he was six. Isn't that cool? He's nine now. And I still use it. That's my every one of my everyday ribs right there. So <clears throat> that's how we do that. It's right in the center. I could come back later once it's a little drier and put a line in there, or I could do it right now. But then I just line these up. I can get six on one of these boards, and then I'll put it up there, let it dry for a few hours, or I'll let it dry in the drying rack over there. And I'll do the next one, you know? I'll just do it like this. So we have it for this size. We're gonna have it in this size soon. If you're interested, you can check out uh, in the links below, I have an STL file for this BAT system. Or you could, if you don't have access to a 3D printer, you could buy a BAT system, the tile holder for me, either on Amazon or on my website, also in the links below. If you're interested in how to use 3D printers for pottery, like making your own tools in a very specific way, check out my other videos on the subject or check out my classes on the subject. There's so many things we can do with 3D printers and pottery. I'm MJ with Outpost Pottery. Thanks for watching and keep on learning.